Okay, so you can expect if you're having cell phone uh, uh, quality issues, if you're having signal issues, you don't get a good uh, cell signal for carrier services where you live. Have no fear. Qualcomm is here. Qualcomm is unveiling their new 5G modem with AI features. Now, I don't know how you would fit artificial intelligence inside of a modem which picks up uh, frequencies from cell towers, but that's what they're claiming. So Qualcomm at Mobile World Congress unveiled its all new Snapdragon X80 5G modem. This 5G modem is AI powered 5G advanced performance. You can see on the screen here, Endless, you know, short little breakdown of uh, how it's built or constructed. It's got the Qualcomm 5G emblem and logo with the AI processor Gen 2. It will uh, pick up millimeter wave and sub 6 gigahertz uh, trans trans uh, transceiver, which is to be expected, right? It'll have the ind independent millimeter wave module um sub six module and then the rf front in satellite snapdragon satellite chip so this will get satellite connectivity sort of like what um apple has right with their satellite connectivity well uh snapdragon is going to incorporate that same technology into their latest modem as you know well maybe not know but the modem is a module that's paired with the system on a chip, right? The CPU. Though Qualcomm uh, manufactures the Snapdragon processor, and they also um, manufacture their modem, which, as I mentioned, picks up uh, frequencies for data, right? Um, it's what it's what um, receives and processes the carrier data, the carrier services from cell towers. So. When you're driving around, the better um, modem you have in your device, basically the better signal you should get. Theoretically, that's how it's supposed to work. We've seen some Intel modems and iPhones suck really bad. So that's why I say theoretically, because it hasn't always been proven to be the case. Um, but thank God us Android users don't have to worry about that Intel modem. My Snapdragon modems have been great i haven't had any issues i mean i've had one device that didn't get any that did not get good wi-fi signal and or data signal but you know that's a probably an anomaly happens one in every million devices just a random dud um but yeah so this will be put okay so check this out the modem here's where the, where the ai comes to play in with modems so the modem will pack a dedicated tensor accelerator to help with AI and processing. Now, Qualcomm says that their new 5G modem will result in increased data speeds, lower latency, and also encompass better coverage and location accuracy. It is far more power efficient, which is great for 5G phones that Typically, the modems will will, will um, play a part in your battery draining faster. Um, that's like when they first introduced 5G phones. I turned mine off and stuck with 4G LTE for, shoot, probably a whole year. I don't remember my very first 5G phone, but I do know I turned off 5G in the settings because my battery would last so much longer on the 4G uh, um, signal and modem. Um, and just now, well, I shouldn't say just now, but it's been probably a year or two where battery life has been getting pretty good with 5G, but it's taken them a few years, right? Well, this is the next generation in the evolution of 5G modems, um, in battery life. So it looks like we're going to take another step in the right direction with 5G and battery life. So battery life should get even better. Um with this modem now i don't know when it's going to be ready for production let's see the new the new qualcomm snapdragon x80 5g modem will launch in the second half of the year so 
um, I guess here in what, um, probably four or five months, this means that existing flagship phones, such as the S24 series, will not be taking advantage of this new modem, and you're going to have to wait for <clears throat> devices to come out late 2024 or 2025 for this to be in your next device. Because even though it's launched in the second half of 2024, that 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 just means that the phony manufacturers will be able to get their hands on them in late 2024, which means they still have to design the phone uh, and put them in the phones, manufacture the phones, and then put the phones up for sale. So it may not be for a whole nother calendar year. This day, next year, we should have these modems in the S25 series. So in, in my... In my estimation, I don't believe we're going to see these modems in, um, let's see, flagship devices I use. The Nothing Phone will be out. Uh, Nothing Phone 3 will not have this. The uh, Pixel will not have this. Of course, what modem do they use? Because I know they're Tensor, but what modem does Tensor use? Is it still, is it still Qualcomm? I'm not sure. I'm going to look that up real quick. But the... Yeah, so you're basically going to have to wait a year from now because as I mentioned, if they release this in the second half of the year, well, that just means the manufacturers still have to physically get them and physically construct their new models of phones, manufacture, put them out for sale. So yeah, we won't, we won't see these for a whole other year, but I um, can almost guarantee you they'll be in the next uh, flagship Samsung S25 series. Um, let's see what, let me Google that. What modem does Pixel use? I should know this. Daniel, do you know this? What, uh, who does Pixel use for their modems? Or who does Google use for the, for the modems in the Pixel? Is it still Qualcomm or do they make their own? I guess it would be, let's see if it's Exynos based. Um, I know they don't go with Intel. It might be still Qualcomm. Let's see. What modem does the Pixel 8 Samsung? Oh, uh, yeah, because it's Exynos based, right? Yeah. I know I've seen that info. I just can't remember. What modem does the Pixel 8 Pro? Yeah, it's, let's see, Pro yeah. Samsung Exynos 5300 series modem for cellular connectivity. Samsung Exynos 5300. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Samsung Exynos 5300 modem. Interesting. Now, what'll be interesting, <clears throat> Daniel, is to see... Them allergies are bad. Um... When Google moves, not this upcoming Pixel 9 series, but Pixel 10, when they go full tensor, meaning no Exynos based, what modem they choose? I hope it's, I mean, at this point, I haven't, I have not had any issues on my modem with my Pixel 8 series or any Pixel, I don't believe, um, is who they use for their modems once they fully take charge of their tensor chip. Hopefully it's Qualcomm. Um, but I don't know. I guess they have their choice, right? I guess you can go with Samsung, Intel, or Qualcomm. Uh, my clear choice would be Qualcomm. Intel, very bottom of the barrel. The Intel modems suck for mobile devices. God, what iPhone was it? I think it was iPhone 12, where everybody had issues with that Intel modem. But um, that'll do it for the day. I went over my time again. But um, I got a roll. I do appreciate you joining us. No giveaway today, but stay tuned. I'm going to do, I think moving forward, don't hold me to this, but I think moving forward, I'm going to do like one day a week we'll do a giveaway because I'm going to blow through, <coughs> I'm going to blow through all of my giveaway stuff here in a couple weeks or a few weeks if I do, if I continue to do every day. So I think what I'm going to do is like maybe every Friday, do like giveaway Friday and have a big show where I do giveaways and stuff where it'd be multiple items too. Some, some days it might just be one item, but you know, 
some days it'd be uh, two or three items so uh, i think i'm gonna do that moving forward but uh we'll do giveaway tomorrow or something like that and i may think about that a little more but appreciate you joining me again i have uh, video reviews coming out for the sound Pete's earbuds for the raycon earbuds i have uh videos coming out for the performance i'm gonna bench or do a bunch of benchmark testing performance testing uh, with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 devices I have and up paired up against the Pixel 8 Pro and just for reference the uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen Plus 1 powered Nothing Phone 2 so I'm gonna I'll shoot that in the morning make sure all the devices are fully charged put them on the same resolution um, all that good stuff make it a fair even fight but we'll it'll be interesting to see what perform because these are all updated on the latest and greatest software so in it doesn't make a huge difference, but it can make a difference, right? On the scores. Um, they could fine tune stuff. I, shoot, uh, a couple months ago, Pixel uh, raised the GPU performance of the Pixel 8 with a software update. So little things like that matter. So we've got new updates for all these devices I have here on my table. And uh, it's time to uh, put them to the test and we'll test all the performance. I'll release that tomorrow. And we'll do a live stream tomorrow. So um, stay tuned to the channel. I do appreciate the time. Again, I got earbud videos coming out today for two earbuds. And then we'll do the performance testing tomorrow. And we'll live stream tomorrow. So, and we'll probably do giveaway tomorrow. So thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And uh, as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Take care. Y'all have a good week. Uh, good week. Jesus. Y'all have hmm, a good rest of the afternoon. Appreciate it, guys. Peace out.